Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this short video I'd like to show you how you can use the NuGet Package Manager within Microsoft Visual Studio to manage your solution and project dependencies. So once you've booted up or created a new project, one of the most common ways to do it is to go over to the Solution Explorer, which di uh, by default is over on the right hand side. You can either right click on your solution or one of the nested projects, uh, depending on what you're trying to manage at the given time and then look for Manage NuGet Packages for Solution. Alternatively, uh, you can go up to the Tools menu, NuGet Package Manager, and hit Manage NuGet Packages for Solution. Either way, it's the same. Um, and in a second after clicking it, you'll have uh, basically this NuGet pop-up. And you can see all of the dependencies which you've installed onto your solution. You can browse for new ones to install, and there are quite a few. Uh, some better than others, and you can search to filter those down. And one of the more important things is if you start a new project and you've added some pro uh, basically packages in as dependencies, or maybe you're holding a, opening up a really old project, then you may need to update uh, some of the things that are going into your project, some of the dependencies. Uh, otherwise, things may not work. Likewise, in some cases, if you update too far, uh, there might be a bug and you might need to reverse that. You can do that in the NuGet Package Manager. Uh, so one more thing before we go here. Uh, if you do like using PowerShell to install your packages instead, you can go to Tools, NuGet Package Manager, and the Package Manager Console. And this is nice if you uh, basically went online to NuGet.org um, and found a package there because you'll just be able to find the command that you need to run in order to install it on your uh, solution. So you can just right click it, copy, go back into the PowerShell inside of the Package Manager console, right click, hit paste, and then go ahead and hit enter and it will install it basically in the same way as the visual NuGet package manager. But that's the basics of managing your dependencies within a Visual Studio project. I've been Chris. I hope you found this helpful. If you'd like, you can check out my Patreon and I'll see you in my future videos.